My name is Karen Smith, and I'm 30 years old. I run in spa salon. My husband, Mark, works for a big company. They say there's a third year affair, but I never thought Mark would follow that formula. Happy birthday, Karen. Cheers. To celebrate my birthday, Mark, my sister-in-law, Sarah, and my brother-in-law, Jake, had gathered in a private room at a restaurant. But the cheerful atmosphere changed in an instant. Happy birthday, ma'am. Mark's mistress, Diana, burst in. I have a wonderful present for you. She handed me divorce papers. They've got my signature. Be grateful. Mark chuckled. But he won't be laughing for long. We've already made our move. Thank you. I'll submit it to the courthouse right away. I took the divorce papers and headed straight to the courthouse. They should accept divorce papers 24-7. Fifteen minutes later, Diana came running towards me, desperate. Don't rush. Diana knew the truth I had entrusted to Sarah and managed to stop my divorce from Mark. This divorce drama wouldn't have happened without the help of Mark's sister, Sarah, and his boss and brother-in-law, Jake. Without their cooperation, I wouldn't have had the resolve to go through with this. The four of us had a tradition of getting together not just for birthdays, but for any other celebrations or events. Happy 33rd birthday, Mark. Cheers. The birthday party started with Sarah's call as usual. Wow, all this food looks delicious. Most of it was made by Sarah. Karen is bad at cooking. She didn't even know how to make soup. That's pretty bad. We always gather at the Williams, but it's a lot of work for Sarah. Maybe we should rent a private room at a restaurant? Karen, you don't get it. It's a kind of family tradition, right, Mark? Mom and Dad loved home parties. We used to gather all the time. Yeah, sometimes even people we didn't know would show up. After Mom passed away and Dad moved into a facility, we decided to keep gathering, even if it was just the two of us. Eventually, it went from two to three when Jake joined, and then to four with Karen. But still, the story of how Sarah and Jake got together is amazing. Mark played a big role in that. What do you mean? I mean, Mark is so clueless and unobservant. It's amazing he played Cupid for Sarah and Jake. I never thought Jake would fall for my sister after just one meeting. When I forgot an important document at home, my sister brought it to me and Jake fell in love with her on the spot. I thought it was a joke. So, the four of us ended up in close relationships. Mark's boss, Jake, married Mark's sister. But I wasn't the Cupid for Mark and Karen. I was a customer at Karen's salon, and one day it started raining. I asked Mark to pick me up, and when he saw Karen, he fell in love at first sight. Mark and Jake are quite similar. There are theories that say love at first sight doesn't exist, but in our family, it certainly does. Maybe men are just simple and fall in love easily? Anyway, both the Smith family and the Williams family have gotten along well, and I believe it will continue. I never doubted that. I've always wanted to ask, aren't you and Jake planning to have kids? You've been married for seven years. You don't work, and Jake has a good income, so you could easily raise kids. Well, we believe it will happen if it's meant to. Neither Jake nor I are anxious about it. We enjoy our time together. Both Jake and I love traveling, and having kids might make that harder. That's why we don't even have pets. What about you and Mark? You've been married for three years. People must be expecting you to have kids soon. Well, if it happens naturally, we'll think about it then, right? I've been busy with work, and the timing hasn't been right. 
Karen is very dedicated to training each of her employees, so they're all very skilled. We recently started offering head spa treatments. Sarah, you should try it sometime. It's great that Karen gives us employee discounts. It really helps. No problem. You're like my best friend. You always listen to my complaints and give me advice. Oh, so Karen is talking to my sister about me? LOL. Of course, Karen and I have a whole competition of complaining about you and Jake, don't we? When I married Mark, I gained a sister and brother all at once, having been an only child. That was the happiest part of getting married. I hoped these days would continue forever. Welcome, Ms. Diana Crawl. Thank you for choosing us. May I ask how you heard about our salon? I heard great reviews about your skills, atmosphere, and attentive service. Thank you. Are you here for a facial today? I started the facial treatment. Once you pass 25, it really starts showing on your skin. I used to tan all the time, but now I regret it. Your skin is so beautiful, you must have been taking care of it since your teens. Your dedication to beauty is inspiring. Your skin isn't as bad as you say. It looks like you take good care of it, but maybe you don't pay much attention to the basics. When I'm in a relationship, I'm super careful. But when I'm single, I party all night and often stay up all night. Smoking and drinking, all the bad stuff for skin. I thought she sounded immature for a 25-year-old. Her job was listed as an office worker at a major company. Can she really handle that? I interact with many women daily and naturally find myself observing them. So, you're in a relationship now? Can you tell? Yes, I'm in the greatest love of my life. That's wonderful. But he's married. His wife is ugly, doesn't do any housework, and he always says there's no point in being married to her. Just hearing his stories makes me feel sorry for him. He wants kids, but she won't even try. He probably married her because he works for a big company. She's a typical woman. He says he feels calm and healed when he's with me. I may not look it, but I'm good at cleaning and cooking. He fell for that unexpected domestic side of me. What do you think about affairs, Karen? Generally, they're wrong. But I understand that falling in love can be sudden and uncontrollable. Right? You should tell his wife to divorce him quickly. Tell her she's not needed anymore. Divorcing the wife is a typical line cheaters use. Even if they say that to their mistress, how many actually get divorced? They usually choose their family and then cut off all contact. What would you do if your husband was cheating? Hum, I'm not sure. Would you divorce him or stay in a loveless marriage? I would probably get a divorce. It might be different if we had kids. But your husband would never do that, right? You've only been married for three years. Still in the honeymoon phase? What's he like? He's an ordinary company employee. A bit clueless and insensitive, to be honest. He's so awkward that if he were cheating, I'd find out right away. Really? So you'd know if he was having an affair? It wasn't common for a first-time customer to talk so openly, so it caught my attention. But while doing treatments, I often hear many stories from customers. If talking makes Diana feel better, listening is part of my job as an esthetician. Sorry for calling you over when you're so busy. Sarah told me she had something important to discuss, so I used my day off to visit her house. I don't know how to say this. It's really hard to bring up. When it came to the main topic, Sarah suddenly struggled with her words. Stupid Mark is having an affair. It's not just an affair, he's got a mistress. I was speechless. The thought that my husband could never was all I could think. I heard it all from Jake. 
The other woman is an employee at the same company. According to Jake, she is not very good at her job and is the type who only cares about her appearance. She comes to work not to do her job but to show off and get attention. Jake said he can't believe Mark fell for such a shallow woman. Sarah laid it all out quickly, eager to get it off her chest. Have you noticed anything strange about Mark lately? Karen, did you have any idea? I hadn't noticed a thing. Coming home late wasn't unusual for him, and he never acted suspiciously. You say Mark is clueless, but maybe you are too, Karen. At work, it's pretty obvious that Mark and his mistress are together. It's unbelievable that things at home seem normal. Mark isn't the type to lie or hide things well. Maybe I hadn't been paying enough attention to Mark. Even though we were married, we both had jobs and rarely ate dinner together. I thought that was just our way of being a couple. I'm not blaming you, Karen. I can't stand that my stupid brother is hurting you. When did this start between Mark and his mistress? Jake says it's been about two months. They're openly flirting at work and it's unbearable to watch. The woman is very forward and Mark is just lapping it up. His work performance is suffering, and it's a problem for the company. Even after hearing this, it still doesn't feel real. Mark hasn't changed at home at all. Jake recorded a conversation between Mark and his mistress for proof. You should listen to it. I decided to listen to it. Hey, everyone at the office knows about us, right? The only one clueless is your wife. Want to bet on when she'll find out? Don't be stupid. What if she finds out and we end up divorced? What? You don't want a divorce? Are you just playing around with me? That's horrible. I'll cry. No, it's just that if I'm not in a favorable position, she might demand alimony. We need to plan this better. By the way, I still don't get why you chose me. You're cute, naturally charming, never boring, and you're manly and good at your job when needed. I love that contrast. So you're serious about our future together? Of course, my dream is to marry you. I've never met a guy who's so perfect for me. I guess it's all about timing for the divorce. Don't worry, I'll tell your wife myself. She's a spa salon owner, right? I heard her family is wealthy. She can live on her own. But I need you, Mark. I can't live without you. But you joined this company mid-career, so you must be competent. I got in through connections. I just wanted the company name on my resume and to marry a man from a big company for a secure future. So you set your sights on me. Was it wrong to fall in love with you? I even asked if I could, remember? Yeah, but I never thought someone as cute as you would go for me. Mark, you should have more confidence. You're the first man I've ever fallen for completely and wanted to marry. That's when it hit me. Diana Krall. I've heard that name before. That's it. She was a customer at my salon last month. What's wrong? Did you remember something? I told Sarah about Diana's visit to the salon. Wow, that's the worst. She knew you were Mark's wife and was provoking you. That explains it. Recently, my salon's website has been flooded with slanderous comments. Things like, no results, scam salon, poor skills, not worth the money, and many more. It was so persistent and malicious that I was considering a disclosure request. Now I think it might be Diana's doing. It all makes sense now. On social media reviews, she rated us one star, saying the staff are rude, the salon is dirty, the restroom isn't clean, and the treatments are painful and ineffective. She called it the worst salon ever. That's a serious problem for the salon. 
But from what we heard earlier, it sounds like Diana is more obsessed, and Mark seems a bit reluctant. Still, he mentioned waiting for the right timing to divorce. It wouldn't be surprising if he brought it up any day now, but I don't get Diana's angle. It doesn't seem like she genuinely loves Mark. There's one thing Jake mentioned that clicked. Mark is set to be promoted to chief manager soon. That comes with a pay raise and faster promotions. Diana might be aiming for that stability by marrying Mark. And don't forget, you and Mark are planning to buy a house soon. She might be after that, too. But my dad is covering most of the costs for the house. It's not Mark's achievement. Exactly. As I left Sarah's house, my anger towards Mark started to build. I was also mad at myself for not noticing anything. Until today, I trusted Mark completely and never doubted him. I'm home. Mark seemed the same as always. Man, I'm tired. He loosened his tie and sank into the sofa. I went to the entrance, kept his shoes clean, and took his bag to the bedroom. This was our usual routine. In this flow, there was no hint of him bringing up divorce. Mark, is there something you want to tell me? If so, I'll start the conversation. Oh, did you hear from Sarah through Jake about my promotion to chief manager? No, something more important. What could be more important than my promotion? I thought you'd be happier. Karen, you can be so cold. I'm already 33, you know? Jake got promoted to section chief at 37 and is on the fast track. I can't fall behind. Jake moved from chief manager to section chief, then to department manager. I'm on the same track. I'll have business trips abroad too, so you need to support me as my wife. Wait a minute, Mark. Did you just tell me to support you as your wife? How can you say that so casually? Don't you actually want a divorce? Mark looked a bit flustered. What are you talking about? Did Jake tell you something? His nervousness was evident. It showed he felt guilty about what he was doing. Isn't it well known at your office? About you and Diana. You're openly flirting, so it was only a matter of time before I heard about it. Or were you so caught up in flirting that you didn't even think about that? So it was Jake. Well, no point hiding it. Yes, I'm seeing Diana. Mark took a defiant stance. At some point, my clueless husband had learned how to calculate and create favorable situations for himself. He was ready for battle. You want a divorce from me and to marry Diana, right? I haven't decided that strictly, but since I'm seeing Diana, that might be a future hope. Mark was really unclear. Clueless, naturally naive, and indecisive. These could be strengths or weaknesses, but right now they just made me angry. So then, you're half-heartedly seeing both me and Diana? This isn't a harem. Don't talk like you have a main wife and a concubine. You have a way with words, Karen. Did you know Diana is harassing me? She's been spreading bad reviews about my salon. Harassment? What kind? She's posting negative comments about the salon. Because of that, we've had inquiries and cancellations. Do you have proof that it's Diana? No, which is why I'm consulting a lawyer. A lawyer? Isn't that overkill? Of course not. I have a duty to protect my business. If it turns out Diana is behind it, I'll take proper action. Wow. You're really acting high and mighty for just a salon owner. You've always been like this, Karen. Your family's wealth funded the salon, right? Yet you act like it's your achievement. Everyone says Karen is an independent, admirable businesswoman, but you're just sheltered by your family. 
People like us, who are slaves to our companies, have it much tougher. You don't get that. Talking to Diana is easier. It's less stressful. I don't have to pretend with her. And about the house, you asked your dad without consulting me. I think it's too early, but you went ahead anyway. Is it pride or vanity? I work for a decent company, but this makes me feel like I'm just following your family's orders. You don't even realize it, but you look down on me. Hearing Mark's true feelings, I started to brace myself for the inevitable divorce. There's no way I could spend decades with a man who cheats after just three years of marriage. Maybe Mark and I had different views of the world from the start. Next week is your birthday, right? I told Sarah we should celebrate as usual with the four of us. What was he planning? Even with the breakup countdown started, Mark still wanted to proceed with my birthday party. Since it's a lot for Sarah to prepare each time, I reserved a private room at a restaurant this time. I immediately sensed he was up to something. Mark's face always gives him away. And so, the day came when my birthday party began in the private room of a restaurant. Diana burst in. I have a wonderful present for you. She handed me divorce papers. They've got my signature. Be grateful. I see. This was Mark's plan. But I was prepared for this. I had already confided in Sarah about it. All right. I'll go submit these divorce papers to the courthouse right now. Right now? Marriage and divorce papers can be submitted 24-7. Thank you for the wonderful gift, Diana. I headed straight to the courthouse. I felt surprisingly calm. Fifteen minutes later, Diana came running looking panicked. Wait. I stopped at her words. Mark was also chasing after her. I realized that Sarah must have passed my message to them. Diana, wait up. It seemed Mark had followed Diana. Of course, he did. This must have been a shock for Diana. Please listen to me. He was out of breath and struggling. He must have run hard to catch up to Diana. Karen, please wait before submitting. It was like an association game. Diana telling me to wait, and Mark telling Diana to wait. Mark, is it true? You had a secret child and never told me? And you're making arrangements to take him in? You expect me to suddenly become the mother of a 10-year-old? No way. You kept such a big secret from me and thought I'd just accept it? Don't take me for a fool. I didn't plan to keep it from you forever. I just couldn't find the right time to tell you. Of course you couldn't tell me because you knew I'd never agree. You can play house by yourself. Karen accepted it, so maybe you shouldn't divorce her after all. I absolutely refuse to do that. I have no intention of raising your child. I don't need a man who deceives me. Mark had no response. And you kept your debts a secret too. How many more secrets are there? These are huge things to hide. Divorce Karen and marry me with all these secrets? Unbelievable. What do you think I am? And didn't Karen's father pay off your debt? Now you expect us to deal with that too? How cruel are you, Karen? Now she turned her anger towards me. We're getting divorced, so of course. You've only paid back $1,000 in three years and nothing in the last six months. My dad is rich, so he doesn't mind small payments, but he was angry at your lack of sincerity. And did Mark tell you he'd buy a house together? Most of the down payment is for my dad. Mark might have bragged about it, but he doesn't have as much money as you think. Mark was visibly shrinking. Boasting about wealth to this extent is beyond annoying. Diana, you're with Mark because he works for a big company and you feel secured, right? Well, go ahead and marry him. I'm just here to submit these divorce papers. 
I'll also get you a marriage license so you two can tie the knot. Diana, you understand, right? I can't raise a child alone. I've never done housework or cooked. You're good at all that, right? I'm not asking you to be a mother. My son is already 10, not a baby. He's quiet and won't be troublesome. He's easy to raise. What? You're treating me like a housekeeper. Just because I'm good at housework doesn't mean you can dump all responsibilities on me. Mark, you never take responsibility for your words, and you've been reprimanded by clients for that. You never learn and don't try to change. The person you should be stopping isn't me, it's Karen. No, no, no. I don't want Mark either. Diana, you came to my salon to provoke me and spread bad reviews out of jealousy. You must really want Mark to do that. Well, you got your wish, with a secret child and debts included. Diana, you'll have to take responsibility too. With that, I walked away from the pointless argument. I went to the courthouse and submitted the divorce papers. You're divorced from Mark now, but I'd still love for you to treat me like a sister. Things had settled down, so I visited Kate's house to catch up. Of course. I want to stay close with you and Jake. My foolish brother really caused you a lot of trouble. What's Mark up to now? I went back to my parents' house, so I haven't heard any rumors. Well, he did something unbelievable. Honestly, I wish I could crawl into a hole. Mark was dumped hard by Diana. Well, that's no surprise. Then Mark became a stalker. Diana got so scared she quit her job. Mark even tracked her to her parents' house and called her relatives. The police had to get involved. Of course, he was fired, and he couldn't pay the rent for the apartment you two lived in, so he got evicted. We had to take him in for a while, but even we couldn't keep supporting him. It's his own fault. What have you been up to, Karen? I'm planning to sue Diana for defamation. When we requested disclosure of the Essence posts, we found out they were from Diana's IP address. I'm getting ready for the legal battle. By the way, Karen, I saw you in a magazine, didn't I? Yes, I expanded the salon into a franchise, and the business is growing. People started calling me a successful businesswoman, so I gave a little interview. I'm so glad something good happened for you. God really does see everything. Even though my marriage lasted only three years, Having Kate as a sister is a blessing. I feel refreshed and ready to start anew.